Pakistan Canada Business Chamber, it's a beginning of uh, starting to cooperate between Canada and Pakistan, business people. What it does is that imagine that you are 30 to 40 years ahead what's going on in Canada, that's what happens business-wise in Pakistan. Uh, next to Mr. Shafkat Bashir, he is the president of PCBC, Pakistan Canada Business Chamber. He's going to come and give some opening remarks. Welcome. <laughs> Please clap generously. It's good for your hand muscles and blood circulation. <laughs> Bismillah rahman rahim Honorable guest and member of PCBC is non-profit organization focusing specifically on a sole purpose of improving trade, investment, opportunity among the Canadian and Pakistani business community. Now there is an oath taking ceremony. Mr. Francisco Mieli, please come forward and give a speech. He's city councillor for our area. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Uh, Gentlemen, um, it, it gives me great pleasure uh, to welcome you as well in, in Saint Laurent. Um, Honorable High Commissioner. The representing the Boromir, Mr. Dimitri, please come forward. Please give him a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. President of Pakistan Canada Business Chamber, Director of Pakistan Chamber Board of Commerce. Now I request uh, uh, Mr. Mohammed Amir, Consul General of Pakistan in Montreal. Please give him a big hand. Welcome him. To the Thank you, Mr. Ashuja, for the generous introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, boyu and assalamu alaikum. It is indeed a great pleasure to be part of the inauguration ceremony of the Pakistan Canada Business Chamber. I want to recognize the efforts of Mr. Shafkat Bashir, Mr. Shuja Bashir, of course they are not brothers, uh, Mr. Amin Naseem Chaudhary, Sayyid Mukhtar Hassan, and members of the core team uh, for working so diligently for the creation of this new chamber. 27% of our population of Pakistan is between the age of 39 and which is the most productive age. Due to Pakistan's high, high IT connectivity, 140 million mobile subscribers, it is, Pakistan is a very, very good source of call centers and IT sources like software, designs, and web development, a main supporter of the open market economy. And some domestic issues, Pakistan has not been able to maintain its the accelerated growth. But, however, since 1977, Pakistan has been following most in liberal investment and trading regime in the region and continues to add incentive for foreign direct investment. Pakistan has a significant industrial base too and the industrial sector also contributes around 20% to the GDP. Now there is a shield presenta presentation to you. Shield presentation to the Consul General. Please come and present the shield by all the board of directors please come and present the shield to the honorable consul general if you need if any canadian companies need any assistance
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we're going to show you a small documentary presented by. Music. The architecture and gardens left behind speak volumes of their skills and tastes. The remain this rich history and diverse ethos. It is one of the few countries in the world where the festivals of all major religions are celebrated with equal zeal, alongside the Islamic rites of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Azhar. Christmas and Easter are celebrated with great emotions. I want to welcome the chief guest to give a speech. He is His Excellency, the High Commissioner of Pakistan in Canada. He was a minister. Senator, His Excellency, Tariq Azim Khan. <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. Uh, may I begin uh, by asking uh, everybody to be give a salute to uh, martyrs of uh, the <clears throat> Training Institute in Koita, the youth, almost 60 of them who lost their lives only day before yesterday in a terrorist attack, um, and the cadets um, who died because of attack, uh, two Uzbeks and one Afghan uh, suicide bomber attacked the uh, Training Institute in Koita. So may I request you to please pray Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Sadly, this is the price that Pakistan is paying today for the role that we played in the <clears throat> free world of the West, which we joined hands when the Soviet Union occupied Afghanistan. Some of you perhaps know the history. 1979, when uh, Soviet Union occupied Afghanistan, we joined the free world and uh, fought. Um, and we managed to defeat Afghanistan and evacuate Afghanistan of the Soviet occupation in 1989. Sadly, we had a good, uh, as you might have heard others say that, we had a good uh, entry strategy, but unfortunately didn't have a good exit strategy. People who had been uh, gathered from all over the world, from Senegal in Africa to Indonesia, Malaysia, people who were brought in young youth people, youth, youngsters brought in. They were given jihadi training in madrasas in Pakistan, given money and arms to fight the Soviet Union. Unfortunately, we forgot what's going to happen to those people when the Soviet Union finally vacate Afghanistan. So 1989, February 1989, when General Grimov of the Soviet Union, when he crossed the Amur River back into Uzbekistan, nobody thought, what are we going to do with these youngsters that we have brought from all over the world? what's going to happen to them. And you can imagine thousands of these young people who've been brought into Afghanistan to defeat the Soviet Union. What are they going to do? These are youth, youngsters, who know nothing but trained to kill. Of course, they were good at that, which resulted in Soviet leaving Afghanistan. But nobody would imagine that these people who would be there, who have no other skill, who got no other place to go to. So the Afghanistan where they were is a place which is in shambles after 10 years of Soviet occupation. No factory, they could go and find a job. So when we speak here at the Pakistan Canada Chamber of Commerce, we must remember there's a country where we have a very high uh, rate of success. Businesses, as, as my Consul General earlier pointed out, because of the very friendly investment policies, those who have gone and done business in Pakistan have got very good stories to tell. You can only ask people like Nestle or many other companies like pharmaceutical companies, like uh, 
ICI, like Burma Shell, many, many, many multinationals who work in Pakistan, they can only tell you all the success stories. So certain areas, especially those which are bordered with Afghanistan, yes, of course, you know, these are the areas which we can always say that please avoid these areas. Now I request the directors to come and give a plaque to the His Excellency. Please all the directors come and uh, present a plaque to His Excellency. He appreciate greatly. If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be coming into existence. Canadian Business Club. First of all, thank you, Mr. Shafkat Vishi. I have two gentlemen here. One gentleman, Mr. Robert Hill, he is in the alarm business. He is in the alarm business for the last 35 years, 40 years. And alarm business in Pakistan, there's a, a Mr. Abdul Hai here. He runs a computer company he has 90 million people, nine, data of 90 million people in 1991 with nothing, and he has started a company. He, had, he is an example of how things can happen. He is an example of how you talk about outsourcing. Please give me a Thank you, Mr. Shuja. First of all, I thank you, Mr. Shafkat Bashir, to creating such an organization. And I thank you, Your Honor, yeah, His Excellency, Ambassador of Pakistan. Uh, I would just like to elaborate more a little bit what Mr. Shuja just said, that we need somebody, it's called middleman. So Canadian business community is a middleman. A company like Bell Canada are bigger guys. They can, they can send somebody or go search, go to India, go to Pakistan, and see what is the best way to do the business. The smaller companies, they cannot afford to send somebody all over the place and uh, send, get some business out of it. So we are the people we call middlemen. So people come to me and ask me that, what is the best way to get the call center? We don't know anybody in India. We don't know anybody in Pakistan. What do we do? Thank you very much. Now I request uh, later on, slightly, from Best International Car Cargo, Mr. Amit Kumar, to come. And he's going to tell us a little bit about his business and how he can be part of this. Please welcome Mr. Amit Kumar. Good morning and thank you everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you to Chakar Bhai and all the board members of PCBC to give us an opportunity to attend this, this event. And uh, I wish a success for Shavkar Bhai and PCBC to long run and uh, so that all the business, uh, Canadian business can join and uh, more understand about the Pakistan and uh, can do more business. Now is the time to present a shield to brother uh, Shafkat Bashir and Sayyid Mukhtar Hassan who is a journalist and Mr. Shafkat Hussain he has already explained. Sayyid Mukhtar Hassan Saab, where are you? He's a journalist. He represents Geo News in Montreal. Some of these things, Geo News is a, a very big news channel. The closing by Mr. Sayyid Mukhtar Hassan, the journalist from Geo, please come forward. After the closing, there is a Pakistani buffet is going to be served. Please come. Thank you. Thank you. Please Thank give you. him a big hand. Dear friends, I am once again very thankful to all of you. Nazir is at this in the Montreal Holiday Inn Hotel. And in this moment, we have a great pleasure to be here with our PCBC. In this moment, High Commissioner Pakistan, Mr. Tariq Azim, is here. We will ask some questions about the PCBC. Yes, Tariq, tell us what we want to say about the PCBC. This is a big deal. We have a chamber here in Canada, which is in the middle of Canada and Canada, which can give business to the PCBC. So, I will give the PCBC a great pleasure to give the PCBC a great pleasure. They have taken this thing, they have taken this thing, 
Nazin, thank you very much. This is Sayyid Mukhtar Hassan, Montreal GNews. News. Nazin, Assalamu alaikum. At this time, we are in Holiday in Montreal. और यहाँ पे PCBC का एक शानदार इफ्तादा हुआ है जिसके इस वक्त हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं शफकत बशीर साहब PCBC के सदर तो हम इस हवाले से इनसे पूछें कि इस PCBC के अखराज और मकासद क्या हैं और इसमें क्या फवाद हैं लोगों को जी शफक साहब कुछ बताएंगे सिलसिले में कि प्लीज़ कहें तो मैं जियो न्यूज़ का थैंक यू शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ कि बड़ी मेहरबानी आप लोगों का आने का इसका मकसद ये है कि दोनों कंट्री के बिटवीन जो है ट्रेड को डिवेलप करना और जितना भी ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा हो सके पाकिस्तान में जॉब क्रिएट करना और जितनी अपॉर्चुनिटी है दोनों कंट्रीज़ की पाकिस्तान और कनाडा की वो हम उसको मज़ीद उजागर करें ताकि लोगों तक पहुंचे और लोग इससे फ़ायदा उठा सकें और यही हमारा मोटो भी है और यही हमारा मिशन है कि जितने भी बिज़नेस हैं छोटे बिज़नेस हैं या बड़े बिज़नेस हैं उन सब को साथ लेके चलें ताकि उन सब की हेल्प आउट हो नाजिन इस पी सी के सिलसिले में हम चाहेंगे कौंसिल जनरल मॉन्टियाल मोहम्मद आमिर साहब इस वक्त हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं हम चाहेंगे पी के हवाले से इनके क्या तसर हैं और जो पी के मेम्बर्स हैं उसके लिए क्या ये सहूलियात प्रोवाइड करेंगे या क्या मतलब एक जी आमिर साहब सलाम वालेकुम तो पी सी बी के सिलसिले में मैं चाहूँगा आपसे कुछ अपने ख्याल का इजहार का जिसका अफसादा हुआ है शानदार और कम्यूनिटी ने भरपूर शिरकत की इस हवाले से तो मैं चाहूँगा इस सिलसिले में कुछ अपना इजहार ख्याल कर सबसे पहले तो मैं पी सी बी सी को बहुत मुबारकबाद पेश करना चाहूँगा कि एक बहुत बड़ा और बहुत ही अच्छा इनिशियटिव है मोन्ट्रियाल एक बहुत बड़ा बिजनेस का हब रहा है और अभी भी है तो इसमें एक चेंबर का ना होना एक बहुत अजीब सी बात थी जो थी वो भी यहाँ से शिफ्ट हो गई थी काफ़ी अर्सा पहले तो लोग बिजनेस के लिए आते थे उनको बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स होती थी और वो देख रहे थे कि थैंक यू सैयद मुख्तार हसन मॉन्ट्रियाल जी न्यूज़ मॉन्ट्रियाल थैंक यू